Sorry this stream started a little late, but, well, fuck it, it's my Friday and I can do what the fuck I want. So, good evening, good evening, I am talking. So, uh, we got some fun stuff going on over on the Patreon, they're voting on the next Hex Talks Battletech to go into the queue, uh, probably another round of voting also going to come up on the community page, so keep your eyes peeled for that. And then, uh, what we're going to do tonight is just some low-key bullshit, uh, because some of the mods are broken for MechWarrior 5, I don't want to play MechWarrior 5 all the time. And I just kind of want to do some low-key relaxing. And I hope you're fine with that, because that's what I'm going to fucking do, and you got to deal with it. So, yeah, I I am going to try to relax by building rockets. And uh, we have an astronautical engineer. Uh, that means a guy who designs space stuff and rocket things. And he's got a master's degree in it. And... Uh, He's in the Legion. He's a Black Pants Legionnaire. And this guy is going to help me run a rocket or two and probably scream. And this is the same guy. This is the same guy who did the meat space cookery. For those of you who know what that is. So here we go. Hello, and good evening. Oh, hello. Yes, I had to move you up a channel. Let me turn you up a bit. Hello. Test, test, hello, 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 hello. I'm yes. talking normally. Yes, we hear you. So, okay. I introduced you, I went over your base credentials, uh, you have not, you have not been, you have not been doxxed. People know you are a man of space, and you understand, uh, how vast and deadly it is. Okay. Thank where, you. Where is this happening at? I, I, I oh. was sleeping. Oh yeah, that's right. One second. I, I should I should I should probably uh go into the, the streaming thing and then I should probably hit this little button so you can actually see uh what I'm doing. How's that for smart? Professional. Much better. Thank you. Uh we're gonna start a company. Um uh and the company has unlimited funds. It just has to do science because it's run by a madman. Okay. Oh, it doesn't sound unusual at all. Doesn't sound unusual at all. And this utopia, we can, uh, we can call you Texicus Muscicus. Oh, something. oh yeah. No, see, I was, I was, I was thinking Beeple. Uh, we're the Beeple Corporation. Uh, BPL oh. Beeple. You know, the we're yeah. we're the Beeple people. You know, uh, we we just need a just need a good icon. Um, I like that one. That one's simple. Shows where we are. Are all those the stock icons or is this modded? This is. I don't know. Oh, we're at that point. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, uh, eh, eh, eh. Look, we're the Beeple people, all right? Look, hey, there's Battlebound. Hey, everybody, check out Battlebound. Battlebound's cool. They're doing tabletop games of Battletech all through the good shit, so do go check them out. Battlebound is definitely worth a watch. All right, so um, here's here's our thing. We have to build our first rocket, and I don't know much about rockets, but I know how to make them very loud. So so what what do they teach you in rocket school? 
Hex, you, you're not giving yourself enough credit. I've I've seen the the cosmological horrors you've put into space. Well, I did put that train in orbit. That was pretty nice, yeah. huh? Train. Yeah, uh, yeah, it was, yeah. It was the train. It had the the choo choo parts. Um, yep. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I oh, think. What was the name? What was the name of your Starlink constellation? Oh, that was Colberto Net. Uh, Colberto Net. Yeah. Oh God, Colberto hated that. Is it still orbiting up there? Or no, is no. This, this is world? this is a fresh game, and also okay. Colberto Net was so many satellites it crashed Kerbal. So, um, because it turns out that you shouldn't just shotgun satellites into space, which I thought is bullshit, right? The discount Dan link. Yeah, it was it was nice. So I think this is a good starter rocket, right? Yeah, try it out. All right. So I, it, people, oh, we need a name for it. it needs to, we're a company. We, we, we're we the people company. We need a name that, you know, something majestic and up, you know. Something. What does chat have? Yeah, what's chat got for like, you know, we're, we're, we're people. We are people. This will be Mark 1. Mark 1, whatever it is. Beep 1? Beep 1. I like that. Huh. Scrangoid Goer Upper One. Beep beep kaboom. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Ooh, beepnik. Purple's good. Or beepnik. I, I like beepnik. Because it's like Sputnik, but we put a person in it, right? That's right. You got to pick out an astronaut too, right? <sighs> That's right. I got to choose somebody to not come back. For All science. Right. For si well, yeah. I mean, not just for not not just at random. Obviously, I mean, you don't just kill them to kill them. Uh, wait, no, cancel. I yeah, I want to launch. All right, look, it's it's not it's not that bad. Also, uh, Me Machine's the guy who knows so much, so much about Lord of the Rings. That's so cute. You got a little chode on the launch pad. Is that the uh, technical term in rocketry? Uh, chode? I think uh, Bezos coined it, right? Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you sign that petition for him to not come back? I don't know. I might have missed that one. I, I signed that one. I was like, nah, let's just keep him up oh. there. Yeah, you got some. Sp you just went full throttle. There you go. Well, I it's I think it's solid. So. Oh, that was a solid engine. I didn't see that. Yeah. Yeah. So I I, I think that was just you get what you get. You can have him get outside his capsule and take like an atmospheric reading or. Oh, you're right. Hold you're on right. to the ladder. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're smart. You're smart. All right, hold on. He's got to hold on. You got to make use of the time here. And then yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So we got to get the EVA report right. Keep that experiment. Yep. All right. Now we need to get back inside. All right. Cool. We got it. Good. Uh, Stringstorm made a community post wondering if BattleTech had music content creators. Well, yes. There's goat and there's jekyll and there's uh god he, we we even got stagger and dadbot 9000 and a few other people in on this stuff so yes there are uh i link them in each of my videos you should you should point those whoever in to go see the uh wonderful musicians we've got because you gotta spread that love around so um how at, at what point do you think we should open our parachutes I don't know. Uh, what does your gut say? Are we talking about Jeb's parachutes or the capsule's parachutes? Oh, that's a good question. Oh, wait. It's not streaming the game capture. What is going on? I think I see it on YouTube, at least. There. Is that better? That's Steam on YouTube. Yeah, that should work. I'm just trying to make sure I'm not streaming the wrong thing. Because that would be embarrassing. Looks oh. good to me on YouTube. Are you on Twitch too? No. Just the YouTubes. Just the tubes. So this is what we call ballistic reentry in the business. Uh huh. Normally there's not a person on board, but you know. Oh yeah. Oh. You want to try to do like a, a record here of how fast can we deaccelerate? I would hit it now. 
Okay. It whip, appears whip. this didn't okay. work. No, he stopped. Yeah, it, it, it looks like it looks like we failed. So what do we tell the well, uh did we, did we lose that science? Is it not recoverable? I I, I don't think it is. That's a shame. I mean, you know, it, it We it, can go scrape the sand out there in the field. Yeah, I I would say that he has had an unfortunate uh oopsie doodle, probably. Are we gonna do this hard mode, like no no redos? Uh well, I mean no. Uh, hopefully not. Wait, I have infinite kerbals, so yeah, let's go ahead and do that. All right, uh back to the space center. I mean that's that's what you gotta do, right? Yeah. I mean, you can't just go back in time. All right, so I, I thought that was relatively successful. Well, uh, I mean, it, it went up, right? It, it, it went, went up. That's step one. Step one. Okay, so... It went so, fast. That's step two. Uh, all right, so so what if... Uh, yeah, I, I'm not going to play Phoenix Command. We need, like, a flight checklist, I think. It might help. No, no, we oh, don't. Oh, it has thrust limiters i haven't played around with this before yeah so i figure maybe what if i put this fucker down on like 31 right and just see how up go oh and you can change a color too for speed what are the little icons in the bottom right what does your delta v down there say uh it says 773 meters per second yeah do some actual math no and uh, Urumar, I have it set to display one. That is what it's supposed to be capturing. However, if I sit uh, capture, I can go capture specific window, and I can set it to uh, Kerbal Space Program and try that. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, on the YouTube stream, I see your Steam window. Yeah, I just changed it. All right. Ah. Give, give it a few seconds, see if this is better. All right, so, beep, Nick. Yeah, we just got a new update to OBS, and I didn't even look at how it worked before we started this because I'm a goddamn moron. So, uh, yeah, um, here's my question. Do you think that thrust limiter at 31 is good? Maybe? Uh, yeah. All right. Yeah. All what right. does Shroud do? Uh, that's a good question. Shroud? Disabled? It enable. must be for, like, uh, the top or something. Whatever, don't worry about it. Look, one thing yeah. I learned, my granddad told me, if you throw rocks at the moon, sooner or later you'll hit it. That's true. I think we can do this. I think you and I, as space men, uh, we, can, we can do this. Okay, see, look, up. Look at that. Yeah, that's good. You you picked 31 was perfect here. What's that little black dot in the distance out there? Don't Is worry that, about like, it. Uh, it's... a North Korean spy watching? <sighs> I don't know. It's it's probably it's it's probably something. Don't don't worry about it. It's don't, yeah. Yeah, pff, not not important. Not important. Oh, yeah. Do you remember what the altitude was on the last one? No. Uh I just remember how it ended, Laundard. All right. All right. Science time. Yeah, we got we got to get that crew report. Yeah, boom, got that crew report. All right, we got to get her in an EVA. We got her to do an EVA report. Yes, right, that. Okay, get back inside. Whew. All You're right, not going to take off her helmet? Oh, shit. I should have thought of that. Also, I think because of this air gauge thing around here, the breathing get hard. Just a little bit, you know. You're still in the atmosphere. Atmosphere is kind of relative, isn't it? I mean, yeah. I mean, I, I wouldn't want to have a picnic up here. That's that's not feet. That's That's meters. That's a the, little chilly. Yeah, that is uh, terrifying. I'm just going to open the chute now and uh, see oh. what happens. Oh, with time warp, too. Yeah, that'll be fun. Let's see what happens. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. I am really drifting. Okay, come on. Please open. Please, for the love of God, open. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. No. No, we've already lost one Kerbal. Please don't lose two Kerbals today. Oh, this is unfortunate. What is going on? We got plenty of room. 
Please open. Unless Jeb, you know, punched holes in the parachute before his first flight. Oh, oh it's opening. Excellent. Okay. Excellent. We are slowing down. Excellent. We are... Whew, that's only one bad one. That is only one bad one. Okay, so we're doing fine. We are doing A-OK. -okay. I think everything is looking up. This is exactly how the space program started. We didn't, we didn't do any math. We just put guys in rockets, and we sent them straight up to the moon and, and just beyond. just skipped the dogs and monkeys and everything. Why, why do you think they did dogs? Was it just like, do you think they had some mangy dogs, like, laying around the parking lot? Have you been to Kennedy Space Center? Yeah, I, I, I figured that's probably what they were doing. I'm surprised they didn't have also, like, seagulls, you know, just be like, oh, yeah, we got like to alligators. Yeah, we got to send these seagulls to space to figure out uh, reasons, and they just kind of put them in there. All right, so... In Florida, during uh, crocodile or alligator mating season... Uh, they seek out any source of water, and so you'll oftentimes find them in the bathrooms. You know, they'll, they'll open the doors and get in there, and uh, it's not the most fun thing to find in a bathroom stall. I would I would imagine that's probably on the uh, list of nope. Uh, pretty up there. That's that's pretty up it's, there. It's Florida living. That's Florida living. Florida ceiling. <laughs> um, sorry, that was a bad one. All right, so you're adding more mass to your capsule here because. You want to... More science. More science, okay. And you're going to throw off the CG and have a catastrophic failure. Why Why do you have to be so negative? What are those? Those oh, are fuel tanks. Fuel tanks? Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right, so look, then I put that on there, right? So you're switching from solid to liquid, all right? Yeah, because I, I, like, I, like I like the big flames. Right, and then I That's put right. one of those on there. Oh, we're we're just going straight to staging too. Yeah, because this evolution is happening fast. Well, yeah, I mean, think about it. Kerbal scale—they only have a scale of the time. They live short lives. They, do you, why do you think they drive around so fast? That's true. That's they don't give. You're not going to try to recover your first stage. You're just going to pollute it into the Kerbal ecosystem. Uh, okay. Oh, and you got two goo things. Yeah. It's called doubling. Okay. That's that's. Hey, wait, 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 wait. What? This isn't Beepnik. This is Beepnik Mark II. No, we always recycle the name of the program, so oh. we, we we do two shots and then. Which no, Congress with their continuing resolution, they right, don't have right, to go right, and update right, right, the right, right. legislation, yes, right? See, yeah. exactly. Smart. Yeah. Hey, look at that! It works. Hey Nads, if you're going to Gamers Haven uh, and you want to bring Rob a sandwich, he uh, he he appreciates most sandwiches. I've asked that a few times. He's a cool guy. Just don't be weird. Well, okay, just don't be too weird for a game store. That's that's yeah. Okay, look, what 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 would the mission patch for Beepnik have on it? That's a good question. Maybe yeah, like, like a, a Kerbal on fire. Oh, okay, okay. Well, because, yeah, we lost the guy in the first one, so that's that's going to be... like half of his head is, like, dissolved into sand, just blowing away in the wind. Oh, that's a... Yeah, that's a that's a good one. I think we're going to have to do a uh, ballistic mission to that thing on your, your shoreline over there. Which one? Uh, you know, the uh, not the North Korea spy van... It's like sitting out there on the beach. Oh, yeah. Observing you. Yeah, I see. I see, I see what you mean. Yeah. Let me let me adjust this a little bit. So, what what is this glow? Is this a healthy glow? Is this uh, normal? Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's, it's perfectly natural. What's happening here? And it'll go away. Oh yeah, let the goo out. Well, <laughs> dude, I can't just. I brought it all this way. I need to put stuff in space. Right. Oh yeah. I mean, that's why you're carrying it up here, right? Yeah, I mean, that's what you do. Like, isn't that what satellites do? They just go up in space and they let them go, and they're like, like, like letting a uh, a wounded animal back into nature right. after healing it. You're like, I mean, technically, it is from Earth. It is going back into space, right? From, from whence, Earth from whence it came, right? So it's you're like, you're like, goodbye, Hubble. You know, may the flight of angels sing thee to thy rest, and you just let it go that's into right. the night. It's actually quite sad what we usually do with satellites at the end of their life. You know, most people think satellites burn up in the atmosphere, which is what you should do. But if they're too far away, you just kind of 
push them out there and forget about them. Oh, that's sad. Yeah, they call it a graveyard orbit. And there's a lot of spooky stuff out there that no one wants to talk about. Well, yeah, I mean, dude, all, all, I mean, oh god, if Graveyards. you start, well, if you start talking about the like lost cosmonauts theories and all that other, all that other spooky stuff from the space race is really cool to think about, uh, because I know there's a lot of really, really, really interesting what ifs uh, from the space race, and I, I know there's all a whole bunch of stories of crazy crazy shit that was put into space like oh yeah they, they had a nuclear laser and i know the russians built the the polyus uh that that laser that was gonna be it was, it was on the buran's boosters or something and there's that argument of whether or not it did launch or blew up and so you know i, I think that's kind of interesting look yeah for sure but were we supposed to do something up here? I don't remember. No, we just went up higher to get some of the... Oh, we okay. had to let the goo out at higher altitude because it gets scared. That's right. Yeah. It's a sphere right now. That's what it said. Hmm. Huge fear. All right, so do you think, do you think the goo's going to survive on the outside of this thing? Let's find out. I mean, when we... When the glow we, comes back. We need to find out. I mean, see, I used to have a feud with science, as you know. Uh, a rather a rather uh, strong feud with science, like a huge, huge, huge feud with science. I just refused to do the math. Uh, I refused to do anything that had to do with science. Oh, I thought we were talking about Space Station 13 science. Oh, no. Fuck those guys. Fuck See? that department. Fuck those. Fuck them. Like, I will, I will fight anyone from the science division because by the time they understand that they're being murdered by Cargonians, they... They are already dead. They are already dead because they pay attention to nothing. They just sit in their fucking back little corner and they're like, I've discovered tier four subatomic cheeseburgers. And you're like, uh, the station's on fire. And they're like, yeah, but I need another uh, 20 bars of gold so I can get this gold hat icon. And I'm like, I'm going to kill you with a hammer. But see, look, this is this is perfect. We landed not at the space thing. And well, don't get ahead of yourself. I mean, landed. Valentina is not going to get eaten by wolves. Okay, it's not going to happen. I haven't said anything about wolves out here yet. I think we've only observed North Koreans. All right, but so which might be worse than wolves when it comes to hunger. Yeah, they do like eating people, huh? So at at any rate, the uh, the thing that's kind of nuts is with. I don't know. It's 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 just one of those really strange things when you start thinking about we are entering this era in which space is being increasingly privatized. So it's it's not just I mean, yeah, some of the early stuff was kind of sad. Like I I know maybe some people would get mad for hearing this, but I I think the the Atlantic space or space Atlantic or Virgin space or whatever uh, thing is, is kind of oh, Virgin. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think that one's kind of sad because it like goes right up to the like technical line and it's like, look, you're weightless for like 12 seconds. Like all the fluff in your pocket comes out, you know, and they're like space. And yep. <sighs> that just seems like a cheat. That really does. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, R and D, nice. Yeah, what we, are you gonna research? I, I I didn't unlock enough science. I need more science. You know. You, I think Valentina can go out and do a soil collection sample. Oh, that's right. That's what I should have done. Is just gotten her to get in that soil. Oh, man. She's only like two hundred yards away. Yeah, she is. She is only two hundred yards away. Isn't that amazing? She is literally. No, wait. She's not two hundred yards away. She's she's a good deal inland. Uh, let's see. Re let's let's recover it and get our science. Okay, we have twenty nine science now, so we're good. But yeah, I, and that's well said, James. I I, I don't want it to be like I don't want space to be the billionaire's roller coaster. I I want to see I want to see some cool shit go up there. I want to see some Belter Creole get established. <laughs> I I want the expanse now. 
Mm. Okay, can you advise me which of these things do I need to buy? I have to What's what's your objective for the next launch? Um up. Up upper. So that's step upper. one. Yeah, up up upper. -er. Okay. So probably the top one, I think, right? And that looks like an up thing. Yeah, it's got flames uh, you know, coming down the Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. So I I, I think that's what we should do. All right, so so now we can create a new name now that Beepnik has been to space ish twice. So what is what is the second one? What is the? It needs something that's forceful, you know. Hmm. Hmm. Something something that's soaring, something that's you know something. It it needs. It needs something. Uh, hmm. Thrustmeister. I like that one. That sounds good. Because think about it. We're a private company, right? So we're trying to sell this. Right? Thrustmeister. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're selling it as like a vehicle that can do all these things, right? You could probably even make like uh, replica toys at scale. Oh, level. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of That's... shake and vibrate and everything and... Uh... Explode? I mean, no. Yeah. They don't do that. All right. So, yeah. So what... what I mean, what, what, do you, what do you think the toys would be like? What would the commercial be like? Be like, Thrustmaster shooting... The I imagine it's like one of those grainy commercials on uh, the E network at like four in the morning. Oh, the Insomnia Channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And, I uh, I know it, it just well. comes on, and you know, I heard on the news today that "Set It and Forget It" guy. What was his name? Ron Peel. Ron Peel. Ron Peel died. Yeah. I oh could, man. I could see him advertising it. You know, Ron Peel, like he he figured out that if you took like a toaster oven, right, and you took the the griddle grill out and and you replaced it with a very slowly rotating, and I mean incredibly slowly rotating stick, and you put a whole chicken on it, mm -hmm. you could make a pretty okay chicken that would Have be. Have you had one? Yeah, I, I I did have one once, and the guy, it was in college. The guy got it from his grandma, and she had bought it off the TV when he was five, and had kept it for him. I'm serious. Like she'd kept it for him. Like one of these days, he's gonna need it. It's going in the will. Exactly. So he had it, and he'd be like, hey, you want some chicken? I was like, is that a whole chicken in a toaster oven? He's like, and instead of being embarrassed or anything, he just owned it, which made me respect the fuck out of him. Like he Would he, he like uh, slam the glass door and yell, set it and forget it? No, and no, no, no. He would be like, I'll have you know, this is a Ron Popeil 1979 vintage chicken roaster. <laughs> and I was like, okay. And it, made, it made pretty good chicken. I'm not going to lie. My favorite type of deli style sandwich. I don't know. I usually see what they got. All right, let's see if Thrustmeister will fly. Does this one just have more stages? More stages. Did you stage the stages? I may have. Well, do it live. We'll do it. Fuck it. We'll do it live. Yeah, you know. See, look up. Look at that. So got enough thrust. Yeah. Step one on the checklist. Look at that little. That guy's getting closer. Out there Is on he? The beach? That guy? Yeah. It's it's like have you ever seen those nineteen seventies like Volkswagen Vanagons where the top pops out and it makes like a little tower for hippies? No. 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 You need to pull something up on stream? No, I mean I'm 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 worried about Googling things on stream because sometimes Google will be like, Oh, did you mean this thing? that is in no way related but pornographic <laughs> and i'm like god fucking damn it i'm, I'm like looking because the problem was is i was looking for uh fasteners and fittings for a rifle mm -hmm. and so i i didn't know that if you type in certain Ooh. keywords into like fasteners and fittings 
uh, that that relates to other stuff that I didn't know existed. And now I do. And that was not how I wanted to spend my day ordering gun parts and things to work on firearms. Isn't it always fun when you don't know like what the name of the fastener is and then you're like trying to find find it somewhere and you're just kind of like googling around what, what what's going on full of your stages here sorry i just got distracted no it's all right it's fine you just had like stages on top of stages yeah i i look i i am a simple man and one of the things i believe is you know uh more is better you right? know i think you if we get a chance to go back to the vehicle assembly building i think you should take the original beepnik and you should take the uh, liquid stage of that, and you should just stack those. You think? Yeah. I mean, that is, that is according to the rocket equation, the most efficient way to get up there. You just shed mass continuously as right. you go up in altitude. I see. I we see can what, test that theory. You know what? We can test. Well, as I was saying, I, I was very anti-science. I was just, you know, I was shotgunning everything. That's just that's just what I did. I I just I just shotgunned everything. That was my What the fuck? Oh, wow. You can change the focus with like the tab button. I did not know that. And I think I just had myself a good old-fashioned strong. There we go. But um one of the one of the things is is I I just, you know, eyeballed everything. Kentucky windage everything. If it felt right, I did it. Um but here's my current fascination and i i just want to run this through you is i i started realizing that i had a certain pattern of behavior regarding this game a a, a very a very simple pattern of behavior where i would do something and i would try it out and it wouldn't work so i would note what didn't work and i'd try something different and I found that this iterative design process has a name. Did you patent it or No, it's 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 not, you know, six sigma balls. It's uh <laughs> it's it's called science, apparently. And and so I huh. realized all along I was a scientist. Not I wasn't anti science. I was a scientist. I was just frustrated, you know. So uh, everything we're doing is science, and we we are science people for doing this, you know. Because what, what is your opinion of the distinction between science and engineering? Well, I think that the science guys go in there and they go, "If you could create the sun, but portable, you would have all the power in the world." And here's some math to show you could do that. And then they hand it over to you and say, "Build it and walk away." And you guys sit there and go, that's neat and all idea guy, but how the fuck is this useful? And then you sweat and you, you apply some stuff and you try a few hundred things out and they all blow up. But along the way, you learn like 20 other things and patent them. And then those become their own fields of science in it's which true. the cycle repeats. A scientist studying this field, an engineer develops to solve a problem like rheomagnetics or whatever. Because I just learned about that, using magnets um, to control like liquid metal and shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I, I think that's really fascinating. Um, and so you end up with all of these subsets that are created by engineers fucking around with stuff. And then you end up creating another generation of scientists from that that study and go, what if? And it's this chicken and egg thing. You guys need each other. But, you know, uh, engineers do the strong lifting and the doing. And the scientists sit around and go, how many multiverses are there? And how many cats theoretically do and do not exist? And it's it's different. But, you know, it's it's like the scientists are kind of the rock stars of that equation. They can go out there and look really nice and talk about billions and billions and cosmos and stuff and if like an engineer had a show it it, it people would just kind of stare at them because the engineer would be like this is how you calculate how how much poop is needed to spin a turbine to light power and you didn't and everyone goes are you talking about poop and you're like yeah you know you could you could actually make a septic turbine we actually talked yeah. about this didn't we I, we might have. Yeah, well, we were talking about uh, city skylines, 
with the um, create the ocean of poo and then release said ocean of poo oh, yeah. uh, through like a, a hydrostatic dam. Yeah, yeah, but I, I came up with the notion that it should be called a hydro poo dam. And mm. then we argued over the taxonomy, I think, for a time. I, I think that was that was the sticking point, was the taxonomy of the word, which I figure is something more of a Rancorp problem, but I don't know. Oh, yeah, you got to pay them... Fifty million dollars to study it for five years. Yeah, and then, and then come, come back with report. like a name. It'll be a good report, but it usually just says I don't know. Yeah, you know we'll have to see. Yeah, you know, well, I mean that's that's Rancorp. They'll study it thoroughly and be like everyone's wrong, and you're like that doesn't help us. And they're like we know. How much science do you get there? Thirty two. That's not bad, but it's not great. And what what I need? I think you should just avoid the survivability line. Just avoid it. Like we could see yeah. how. Okay. Yeah, I'm down. We don't down. need it, <sighs> dude. It's a strange. If you have I wings, mean. you can survive just fine. That's true. I mean, look at Elon Musk. He doesn't use parachutes. So. No, he doesn't. I bet he has that on a. Well, he made that car that has like. What was it? Four four polygons. Remember that. Remember oh, that. Oh yeah. Yeah. They're 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 working on that in Austin, Texas, where it's going to be a huge success. Oh. Well, okay. How many hipsters are in Austin, Texas? Like uh, a, at least four. Okay, so there's at least four. So there's four. Okay. You think they'd get the Cybertruck? I think hipsters would, ironically. I think I think they would, ironically. I I think they would be like, oh yeah, this is that truck that that guy invented, that meme guy with the Dogecoin. Oh, I, I don't really like it, but then like he goes and gets his like. I don't know, his banjo lessons. No, ukulele lessons. Yeah, that. I'm trying to demean this the person. This is looking good. You're doing it. Yes. Okay, so we're we're going we're going with long, right? Yeah? That's that's I think yes. Okay. It's it's longness will be its excellence. Oh yes. There it we looks go. Stable. This looks very Oh god, good. you're staging. Don't worry about it. I'm I'm gonna make it just fine. Don't look. Okay. All I have to do is figure out okay, there's one and then all right. So maybe not all the rockets need to go at once. I I would think that's probably bad for this. So we should well, probably separate first. <laughs> yeah, we should probably start over and do staging as we go. Um but yeah, no, it's 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 one of those things of I, I think space belongs to all of us, and I think that we should have a giant, crazy space, like, run for property and territory, kind of like the Wild West, you know, the boom days. We should, we should just go, like, crazy on space. I actually have a, a book on space law on my bookshelf. Here's my question. Uh, at uh -huh. what point in space law do they cover uh, the clown Oh, let me look that up. I think there is a clause on uh, lunar uh, land claims. Well, there has to be. I, I mean, all those websites that say buy your own part of the moon, they couldn't be lying, dude. That's that's illegal. Oh, no. That's, I mean, you get a certificate with those. Yeah, you get an actual certificate that says you own it. It's it's not like, I mean, he's that. If, for him to do that, that means he has an office there, you know. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's how it works. That that is exactly how it works. All right, so there's. What's that. really interesting is I opened up my space law book, just kind of flipped to the index, and I see something for John Deere, and I want to know, space. how did John Deere get into in, involved in American space law? Uh, because of right to repair. Maybe this was. I think this was written in like the 1960s. To be honest. Oh, then John Deere probably had a moon tractor thing, and they're like, "Put that in there. No seat belts on the moon. <laughs> we die like man. <laughs> We're lobbying against uh, seat belts on our space tractors." My grandfather, I shit you not, when I was a kid, my grandfather had a '69 Mercury Cougar, right? He would take the seat because I'd be like, Grandpa, your seat belts are funny because they were they were just, you know, lap belts and really thin ones. Mm -hmm. And he'd say, oh, don't worry, I'll handle that for you. And he would roll them up into the seat. <laughs> 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 he, 
Like, oh, don't worry about it. It sounds it's a un- little bit of fabric. Yeah, yeah. No, he he was he was a hoot. He he was just like, don't worry about it. I'll I'll get rid of that. That's not a big deal. Okay, I fucked that up, didn't I? What's uh, your stage one there has like two separators. What's yes, that? yeah. There there's two separators there, and they're like boom boom. So it it punches okay. the other bit of just for sounding cool. Yeah, it's it's just rule of cool. There is no reason for it. Excellent. Whatsoever. So we got that one and then another one right under it. No, I don't need that. That's like in the middle of your stage. Yeah, I don't care. So look. Oh, 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 why? All right. So boom, blow, blow, boom, blow, boom, bang, boom, 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 explosion. All right. Got it. All right, so we're going to do really aggressive staging. I think that's how this has to work, right? You, 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 have, to, you have to be super aggressive with space. This is what the math says to do. Listen, you have to do so much math to be an engineer. People have no idea. Like You, you wouldn't you, believe you the wouldn't... amount of Excel spreadsheets I have to work with every day. Yeah, you, you, have, you have to decide on what color you're going to make the third row on that Excel spreadsheet because it can't just be puce because that's accountings. Oh, and you can't use red either. Suits hate red. So you have to use something fun. Now, pro tip for Excel. Um, if, if you're uncertain as to how to spell someone's name, just add umlauts. So that way when they correct you, it's really awkward. <laughs> All right. So here's, here's my idea. This is, this is a big wobble boy. Okay. Yeah. I might have a, a, a suggestion before we go into test. Sure. Well, wanna, yeah, it's gonna be pretty hefty. What? Grab one of those uh, solid rocket boosters, like yeah, the yeah. short little chode ones. That one. That that one. This this one. Uh, it's a little long. I was thinking shorter. N- this one. Th- this one guy. This guy here. Well, well, like hear this, me out. Uh, uh? We're gonna add some spin stability here. Oh. So I want, you, I want you to add like three of them and clock them like ten degrees. All right. Yeah. Can you do that. Uh. How do you rotate. Mm. Well, that's that's a bit extreme. Not, not that's a little too much. You you want some upward thrust there too. I'm not sure. I think you have to like hold the Alt button and hit the rotate key. Someone in chat remember? Might be E and W or something. All right, I'm I'm trying. No, no. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna get some spin though. That's the idea. Yeah, screw it. Yeah, there is a way to like tilt them though. I forget the uh, key to rotate them. E and R. E and R. Symmetry. Down Alt, and uh, tapping those rotate keys. That just changes the symmetry. Or shift. Maybe. So we can Rot- find. Oh, they said the rotate option degree. in the upper left. Wow. Tool, rotate. Okay, that's also like way wrong. What is going on? There we go. And yeah, we want to put like a little bit of a clock on them, right? Like a firecracker. Yeah. All right. This is rotate tool. Select a part to rotate. Oh, okay. So I'll place, oh my god, what did I do to my symmetry? There we go. All right, then you said you want to rotate these, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Oh, wow. All right. Yeah, that looks okay. Uh, eh, not really. No, that that's going to be a problem. <laughs> this This one needs to be, oh no. They're symmetrical. Oh fuck. Okay. We okay. So I I get what has to be done. We have to use the Mark 1 eyeball. So don't worry about it. My eyes are very okay. I only wear glasses to do most things. All right, that's good. And then we uh yeah yeah yeah. Now we align that up right there. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. All right. So now we're gonna get into this, and we're just gonna go do 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 do. Okay, so you want maybe more vertical vector? Oh shit! I oh. think you're gonna have trouble getting off the pad. You might actually have to fire it as soon as it loads in because you're gonna crash. 
don't worry about it. So, All right. so like yeah, there, like that, like that, and then we'll tilt the other boy. Exactly the opposite. There. Mm. A little more. Oh, oh no. Okay, that. Oh, no. Ha ha. There. All right. Uh. Okay. We'll just blame it on the Russians in case it gets screwed up. Yeah. All right. So we're good. We're good. Uh, and then these two have to go at the same time. And we just got to fucking. All right. All right, all right, all right. This, this, this one's this one's gonna be called uh, Wobble One uh, if it works. Middle mouse on the symmetry. Middle mouse on the symmetry. Who's screaming? Uh, middle mouse on the symmetry. I can't hear you over the launch. Uh, you ready to fire? Okay, yeah. I'm. 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 Dude, I'm sitting on this key. All right. Ugh. Holy shit! <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! Oh, ho 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 ho! Well, it, it held integrity somehow. This is amazing. This, if I was in the parking lot putting the keys in my piece of shit box car, and I looked up and saw this, I would be amazed. I would be. I'm sure. Yeah, the spy van in the distance is also probably pretty amazed. Yeah, the the fucking snack rocket. <laughs> <laughs> you might want to throttle down that uh that solid booster a little bit. Look, I I think that maybe it was very stable at the beginning. It sure. was it was reasonably intact at the beginning. I agree. Now, what would you what would you label uh the after after action report for that in in, in from your engineering standpoint? Ooh, as you got to as... have that thrust limiter be exactly the same on each side. <laughs> yeah, I think that's probably that's probably a good idea. But no, so what would what would you describe uh, Ed, Ed, that that crash as? No, well, don't they 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 have a name for that, don't they? Uh, dude, don't they call you're... that a failure. Oh yeah, so failure to launch, huh? Well, no, it, that wasn't the failure. Look, look, Ooh, look at that! It's just hovering. Oh, that's ominous! Look at it's gaining speed as it's hovering. Bye, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you found like the perfect buoyancy level for that limiter. You how, need a little bit more. How amazing is that? We're going to drill. Lucky, yeah. We are going to drill into space. That's 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 the idea. Also, I have another idea, and I I I've been thinking about it, and I'm very certain. I know what we need. We need one more stage. That's just gonna go full beans, uh, and then we'll send these guys around at the same time, right? Taller. Air. No, yeah, taller. It's closer to the sky, right? That's true. So it has it's less, less room, less, less to room to go, right? Less, less. Yeah. So it's very simple. And look at that. It's. It is. It is going up. Oh God. Wow, it's so this majestic. Is majestic. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow. It looks like that drawing of Trogdor. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Trogdor was a man. He was a dragon man. Oh. So many of y'all huh. quick play the interstellar music. <laughs> All right. All right, here's here's what we're gonna do. Uh, do I'm you gonna... have a limiter on that bottom one or nah? No, I'm I'm gonna turn the thrust limiter to seven point five because I have an idea. I have an idea. I think you should ditch the science payloads because uh, they're just weighing you down. No, no, I need to make the bottom the bottom thrust guy more. Oh, you have separators. I didn't see that. Yeah. Come on. Oh. Get, get with the program, the Kerbal program. 
See, look, that looks like rocket science. Okay, maybe. I think not. I've seen it before. Yeah. Yeah. Well, did you know that when they sent people to the moon, they sent a rocket. Uh, they they would send the one rocket that everyone sees that's really nice, and they send like forty that aren't so nice. They they spend all the the decoration budget on the one. Yeah, the, the rest the rest. the rest are just yeah. like un unpainted. They're like rusting and shit, you know. Well, all right, gotta so, look good for the press. All right, so we got those four, and then they bang off, and then I got the spin you need boys. Need that central one in there. No, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. This this you is this is all right. Pff, all right. Look, I know sometimes what I'm doing, and sometimes I get this feeling that I know what I'm doing, but I don't. So it's hard to tell until I do it. But I may be onto something here. Let's say you just described science again, right? Yeah. Uh, so so here we go. I like that. You got a little torque. Very stable. The creeper van's still out there. Yeah, it is. That thing. Look at that. Look at that. Tell me that's we call not... that spin stabilization in the business. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. Yeah. Something happened. Now this reminds me of, like, something from Spaceballs. Yeah, it's getting pornographic, ain't it? I guess you could eject it. Yeah. Yeah, this there is not go. good. Now you're a ballistic missile. Tell me this wouldn't look cool going out over the water, Dude. though. Dude. Launching that out of a submarine? Oh, God, this would scare the shit out of people. Mm-hmm. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to just eject everything. Sure. I'm just going to mash all the buttons. Oh, you missed an opportunity to keep the uh, thrusters going. Oh, God. Oop. Not all right. fast enough. Not fast enough. All right, so what we did we learn? You need to merge your stages with your engines. Yeah, what did, what did we learn? We learned a few things. We learned that when those those uh, rocket boosters, you know, run out of oomph, it it no go up. So, what yeah. what we need to do is more boosters. So, you know, I was about to say. I think like it gets unstable, you know, a couple hundred meters up, and it's only because you're not going fast enough. You need to break through that that range faster. That's that's what I'm thinking. Is like it's it's like you know getting a running start, you know. Like you, you have to get that running start because you're sitting there, and you're like, "Oh man, I got to get that running start to get my shitty car up the hill." You know. I think you should also put them towards the middle of the rocket too. You think? And just take take like that cluster and just clone it up top too. Okay, cool, no problem. And you might want to offset it a little add bit, on, uh, or add a, a more thrust to that middle guy. I, I don't little spinner. I don't I don't think that'll be strictly necessary. But but no, I mean this this rocket is a very fun rocket and I think that when they make the toys of this, they the toys are going to be dangerous, let's be honest. Oh, it also says it's only like $42,000, right? Is that what it means? $65,000. Look at that. That is that is a rocket right there. That is in fact a rocket. Your staging looks legit, yeah. Yeah, this this looks fine. All right, here we go. Here we go. Everybody get excited. Here we go. What's the mission patch of this thing? What's it say? What's it what's it say on it? What what could go wrong? Yeah, I think I think this is like the garbage disposal rocket. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those where you have to launch it immediately. You can't let physics take over. Look at that. That's amazing. Oh. Ooh. That van out there shitting its pants. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> God, that is amazing. All right. Let's, let's, let's try this again. That is, that is amazing. Okay. So, idea. What if... Perhaps 
I, I I don't put the wobbly top section on because that seems to have impeded its ability to not suck. And I'm going to put all these motherfuckers down here at like 50. Uh, I'm, you have to we... manually do each one individually? No, probably not. Um, I, I probably have to do them in pairs because they're all like mated in these weird pairs. But if I have to do it on all of them, I'm just going to do it over because I hate myself. There we go. That's reasonable. Let's do oh, this. It's symmetric. Yeah, okay, it's, it's cool. symmetrical. I think asterisk. So look, we're going to go up. It's a chill evening. It's a lazy evening. We're going to go up to the moon. Not really. We're probably going to barely break orbit if if this thing takes off at all. Mm. It's got some sporing. Yeah. Uh, right. Stand by for launch. And uh, Capcom, can you give us a, uh, a quote? Capcom? Yeah, that's you. Oh. <clears throat> ah. Today we're gathered on this momentous day to finally reach space. Punch it. You got it. Oh, man. That is barely moving. That's what you want. You want just enough thrust to overcome gravity at the beginning, and then you want to throttle up when you get above the atmosphere. The only question is, will the uh, next stage have enough to... Oh, never mind. All right, yeah. so we made... It's perhaps... time to hit the stage buttons as fast as you can. Roger that. Stand by for advanced staging. Oh, shit. Ah, come on, Diablo. Diablo fingers. Come on. Oh, son of a bitch. Got it. You did it. Yahtzee. And the thrusters still going too. Yeah, because it's there. We go. <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus. Oh, science. Oh, look, look. So we're gonna learn about the dirt out here. Oh shit! What the <laughs> fuck was that? Okay. It's your spinning stage. Oh, whoa! Look up. <laughs> that is amazing. People pay good money to see this. Oh my god, see, that's that's what we would do with our space program. We would admit fully we don't know what we're doing. We would have people just in lab coats. Like, we'd say, hey, can you say fucked up shit and then design it? And they'd say, yeah. So, you know, you just have some weirdos out there with lab coats, and they're like, yeah, we're designing a rocket that's propelled by farts. And you go, I like how the, uh, the system with the parachute landed before a lot of the other stages. Oh yeah, so, here we go. We gotta, hold on, we... we all right, there we go. Uh huh. There we go. All right, there. All right, so we need to. Uh, there we go. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. Okay. So um, this this is gonna be the uh, wobble one landing plaque and uh, what what's on the. What or a landing site, right? So we need to we need to put something on here. Uh, hey, uh, Google Google what's on the Apollo ones and just rip it off. Rip it off and change a few words, please. Beeple needs to be known. It be Beeple needs to be known. All right, we can do this. All right. Those who made the ultimate sacrifice so others could reach for the stars at Astra Paraspera. All right, so those who went without tacos so we could shoot this rocket at the parking lot. Uh, and then... Uh, oh, actually, it was a different plaque. I think the other one says, Here men from the planet Earth for set upon the moon. It's kind of boring. Yeah, and I, I, I put uh, Sadiqum Diem, or Siege of the Day, because uh, I think there that's funny. All right, I, I think we need to change strategies. The, the long noodle's cool, but what if we did the opposite? What if we did pancake? super short noodle? Yeah, what if what if we did what if we did a a thick boy, right? I'm I, thinking, yeah, like Beyblade stability. Right, yes, that's that's what we need to do. We need... 
Like we... you cut into the air with an airfoil, like a helicopter with <sighs> rockets. Hey, look, Bill Kerman, it says, landed at Kerbin. Oh, yeah, I forgot to pick him up. Yeah, we should probably recover the spacecraft. Uh... Hope to science. Yeah, he'll be fine. He'll he'll be... We, we got some science, but not enough. All right, so what if we went up... And let's see, do we have an? Oh, wait, you're right. Oh, yeah. So, okay, their survivability does give us re entry Uh, stuff, but I know. I don't know. I mean, it's a lot of science survivability. That's true. Surviving just fine. Yeah, that's true. So, you know what? We're going to do a clean sheet redesign. Uh, I, that's the term, right, in engineering, a clean sheet redesign. We're going to. White paper design, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, we're going to. How long does it take to design space stuff? Is is it like is it like can you do it on a weekend? Can you just get out some 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 pencils and and some etch a sketch and design a like a space thing? Does it have to work? No. Then yeah. How you're doing that right now? How how long how long do you think it would take you to design Sputnik by yourself with none of the documents? Yeah, the hard part's all the electronics. Uh, for me personally, it would it would probably take maybe five or seven years. Really? By Interesting. myself. Because yeah. I had heard I had heard that the the breadth of knowledge available to you know engineers nowadays makes makes it, it it's kind of like that same thing where they said you know we we spent a hundred billion dollars trying to crack the atom and now. Anybody can come along and do it for far less because oh sure yeah the breadth of information out there. I mean yeah, but your question was how long would it take a single person to do it? And then yeah, that's probably the problem. Right, well, like more subject matter expertise you have, the the faster it can go. That's You're, fair. Oh, wait, you added too many stages there. No no no, 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 no. remember. I, no, no, no. We're we're going horizontal stability, not okay. vertical stability. Okay. Well, you're the chief engineer here. All right. That's so right. I'm. Yeah. All right. So I'm. So we need to, we need to do more of that clocking action that we talked about. More of the clocking action. So those yeah. those will have to be on the outsides. Yes. Because uh, uh, otherwise that would be really weird. All right, so we need to do this, right? But there needs mm-hmm. to be a gap between them. So I'm thinking no, scaffolding. Those are... Scaffolding. All right. You're going to increase your torque arm here. And what's the key to rotate it? There, it's shift. Hold shift for fine rotation. Hold shift for fine rotation? Okay. So click, click one of those off, hold shift, and then, like, I think you have to tap, like, R, E, or one of those keys. Yeah, no, that changes symmetry. Then it's that, another key. It might be F or Q or D or W. Uh, that's symmetry. Oh, that's... That's not the axis you want, but close. Yes, it's... <laughs> oh, wow, wow, that's getting crazy. Yeah, you, know, you found the other axis. Okay. Oh. 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 Yes, it's, it's A and Q. All right. So yep. we, what we so that's do like your Y plane. Oh, there you go. Exactly. That's what we wanted. That's what we want. So we're going to do this, right? Yes. All right. And then we're going to just keep doing that. That right? might be good right there. Yeah. Like that, that is, this is an exciting rocket. This is a very exciting rocket. This this is uh, shouldn't it get some spinny wing bits, you think? If you spin fast enough, you will have stability. Okay. I'm I'm just thinking like I mean, are, do we even have we even unlocked wings to produce lift? I no. So that's a moot point, right? I yeah. I think the wings we got are shitty little wings. They're not they're not good. All right, so what we're going to do is then boom, boom, boom. All right, cool. Uh, what are we going to call it? What is it? It needs a name. Mm. Kind of reminds me of a flower, like a blossom or something. Yeah, but no one's going to fucking back blossom. Maybe the, the booming onion? Mm. Of boomin onion? Yes, the booming onion. Fuck yeah. 
One time when I was a kid in uh, elementary school, they had a career day thing and people would come in like local firemen and local policemen, local people from the hospital, whatever. And one guy's dad showed up who was a contract caterer and he was like really fucking mad because he said he was the guy who invented the Bloomin' Onion. <laughs> and for 45 minutes. Someone min- can claim to have invented that? Yeah. And so for 45 minutes, he was like ranting about how he got robbed of the Bloomin' Onion and always patent your appetizer designs oh look at that oh it's majestic yeah it's so majestic and look how stable it is too oh you were saying uh I think I think those uh struts might might not be strong enough it's solving itself yeah Maybe a little less thrust. Nature is healing. Nature is healing. We are the virus. Technically, you're, uh, as I say, you are still going up, but not anymore. All right, so look. Okay, a little less gas, but look, we figured it out. We figured it out. Up is good. You know? Step one is up. Step one is up. That, uh, like, instead of failure is not an option, step one is up. That's, that's our fucking motto. Oop, throttle down. Throttle down a little bit. There you go. Still going pretty fast. <laughs> it appears that we this need to thing... get that middle engine going with it, I think. Uh holy Maybe. shit. My god. I liked how when it was just sitting on the pad, you could see your little uh, vector was like freaking out all over the place from all the wobbles. Yeah. We might need some space tape. I don't have it yet. Or you could just gas it up. Look at this thing. I mean, imagine looking up and seeing it. It's it's like actually physically detached. Yeah. Like spinning like that. <laughs> just some some sort of magic is holding it together. It's still going. Oh. I'm sure Valentina's enjoying the G-forces she's experiencing right now. They're modest. You ought to just throttle up. Oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> Explosive. Yeah, just yeets it. Did you? Maybe that's the goal. We see how far we can fling these rockets. Turns into a new kind of cluster munition. Well, that's the thing, is he could be like, we could be the guys who tried to start some noble space company and ended up building bunches and bunches of of really 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 fucked up rockets and and then yeah. as we show them they're like wow we should go show this to the pentagon you know because the kerbal pentagon hates the guys on the other side of the country so you gotta you gotta get that what would the kerbal pentagon be like the square yeah it'd probably be like something weird like that the diamond building the the triangle <laughs> so yeah uh we managed to get a little further i think not really we can see the building we can see the building from here we are we are we here might have to like clock the angle to be slightly less tilted like a degree yeah there's not a lot of science out here um i we failed we failed horribly but we don't tell people that right I want to see a munition weapon that's like the Lazy Daisy Sprinkler. Do you remember that? Oh, yeah. A kid? Little giant flower that just like rocked out in your backyard, spraying water everywhere. Oh, that one. Yeah. Well, if you could connect that with like, I don't know, a Livin's Large Gallery Flame Projector or something, you yeah. could have it like be oh. spraying kerosene as it wobbled around. It's called a, the Crazy Daisy. Yes. I so, think. So, yeah. Imagine, imagine a too. very brightly colored pastel crazy daisy coming up under your trench and then just spraying like nerve gas <laughs> to a very very bad version of La Bamba alright so here's the idea here's the idea and it's I not... think, I think we need the center mass to be closer to the middle hmm. it's like those uh, little struts aren't doing it for me I think they're the weak point probably you're not wrong let's just have it let's just have them touching it's it's only gay if rockets touch. All right, there we go. 
That's close enough. It's good. And then, I don't know if you want the middle one going to. Probably don't need it. No, 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 no. So this is this is the boom and onion. This is the real one. The, the it, don't worry about it. The first one was like the czar tank, right? It's it it exists. We acknowledge it exists, but it was like we we're like, no, it's a static model. We really didn't drive that and get it stuck. All right, here we go. <sighs> okay, Valentina Kerman. Boom and onion time. Yeah, boom and onion. All right, so. Wow, look at that motherfucker. I like the shadows being generated on Valentina's face. You mean the strobe effect? <laughs> yeah, Uh-oh. Looks like something's happening. It appears that the spoke is widening. <laughs> and we have a loose orbit. Okay, <laughs> one decided to another one. A little off balance. I think you have to throttle up to counter it. You're Roger. Counter losing. <laughs> God. Where did they go? Oh my god, look at this spin. This is amazing. I think we can do better. I think I think we can do better. All right, hold on. Uh vehicle assembly. Okay, look. We need to get more science to do better, right? So, I've been thinking about your idea for pancake rocket, and I don't think you're wrong. I don't think you're wrong mm -hmm. at all. Um, I I would like to posit as a very good junior spaceman whose credentials are impeccable on certain stations that what we need to do is we need to do a combination rocket, right? Okay. So so you know how you like cake, right? Cake is delicious, and then and then you like meatloaf. Well, that's not to say that you can't have both. So what we're gonna do? I thought is, meatloaf was a cake. It is. It is. And I'm glad you think that, because I do too. So I mean, they put bread in it. It is. It yeah. I mean, I don't put bread in my meatloaf. Good man. I don't. I just find other meats. People are like you could you should put bread in it. And I'm like, have you heard of sausage? It's pretty amazing. Yeah. It's it's okay. It's, so you you're doing the the spoke thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But different. You know, I think. See, the thing, the problem I have with this design is that you have all that empty space between your spokes. You could put more radial engines in between there on the other engines. Hmm. Like take 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 like your second layer connecting to the big guy. Like that. Yeah, like that. And then put that in there. Just find a spot where you can wedge it in. All right. Yeah. And then I have to mark one eyeball it, but Yeah. It's close enough, really. Yeah. It's it's in the right direction. All and right. you got more space in there. I do. See? Yeah. Yeah, fill it in. You're right. I'm glad that you're here and my friend. You would never steer me wrong. All right, there we go. All right, now you need you need the horizontal spinning part. We don't have that yet. Oh, that's right. That's right. Okay, so I need to make sure all these bang booms are going at the same time, right? So do do do. Mm -hmm. Can can I can I suggest that we maybe do like a an engine test? Sure. To see if this has enough just on its own to do the business. It'd be really fancy if you figured out how to stage all this like asparagus style. That's not going to happen. That's, yeah, it's extra credit. No. It's uh, optional. I, I, I took some year and change of engineering because uh, I thought I was going to be a petrochemical engineer like my father. And then I said no. So I know enough, but not a lot. So it looks like half the stages are going to go off here at the beginning. Wow. That's found some spin somewhere. It's because I had to basically eyeball it. I think it wobbled into some spin. Yeah, that's good enough. I mean, this is this is good. I mean, it's it's kind of it's kind of got the ballistics and a sense of like I, a Phillips head. I think you might actually make it to stage four. If they uh, don't destroy the other engines when they separate, that is a possibility. Um, yeah, these are these are held on with a lot of bullshit. So you're almost out of the atmosphere. Okay, right? hold on, hold on, hold on. This is gonna look beautiful from above. You need to hit it. All right, stand by. Oh yes! 
Holy shit! All right, we are going up. Yeah, you are. Holy fuck, are we going up? Nope, you're out of fuel already. That's called punching through the atmosphere. All right, now what do you got here? A little bit of fuel, or little, you're out? Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. So I, I was thinking of like just healing over and uh, seeing seeing how much of an orbit I could make. But holy shit, hold on. Yeah, we managed to actually get up here. So I uh, hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna warp here. I'm gonna warp here because we're gonna get up here and I'm gonna get the deep space science. You know, like the guy's gonna get out with like a bag. And he's going to like deep space. Yeah. 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 Well, for these people, this is deep for them. That's true. You know, for them. The it, yeah. We've this is been. exactly. So he's going to get out and like the, the, because these Kerbal scientists don't know shit because they put me in charge of it. Like his, his objective is to get out of the spacecraft with like a black garbage bag, like a contractor bag, and to get some space and bring it back. No, yeah, you have to scoop it up. You gotta, yeah, you, you gotta, you gotta get that space. See, look at that space. That space out Lockheed there. Lockheed Martin sells a uh, perfume that smells like space. It costs five thousand dollars an ounce. Uh, how, why, why, how do they know it? Okay, question. Um, how much like space does it smell, and who's uh, who's really gonna know, right? Because is, is I think there... it smells like like carbonized iron, like just burnt iron. Well, the reason the reason I ask is who who's gonna know enough to call bullshit and be like, oh yeah, no, that's not what space smells like, because all the astronauts are probably paid off to be like, oh yeah, that's I space. Guess Richard Branson good now, right? That he barely went to space. And he didn't even stick his head outside. Yeah. To smell. I mean, he yeah. didn't get a whiff for anybody. It's it's like that meme, which I hope is not true, but I kind of hope it is, uh, of the guy who had his arm burned off to lava, smugly refusing to tell people what lava feels like. Oh, yeah. Carried that one to his grave? I would. Should. Yeah. If I knew what lava felt like, I ain't telling you guys. I paid the price for that. That's Did mine. you get all the, uh, were you going to try to do a burn or something up here? Yeah. And like go into orbit or nah? No, I, I'm just slowing, I'm, I'm slowing down my uh, re-entry because I'm dumb. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I forgot what's step three. We got step one, go up, two is fast, three yeah. is. That's a good question. I'm, I mean, so here's here's the thing. Like, okay, you're I I'm I'm the I'm one of the guys in charge of the space program. You're one of the guys in charge of the Beeple space program. Like, walk. What would you show people who wanted to come visit our space center? Like, what what would you what would you show people? Oh, I'd probably just show them the gift store with like the little collectibles of that sand and glass from the first launch. Oh yeah, that's a good you one. Still have fifty dollars an ounce or something. Yeah, of course, of course. That's I would show them the gift store because that's where we need the most help. I would just sell them like real rocket fuel, and it's just like you know alcohol, like wood alcohol, and key cherry cans. I'd be like, "This is a real rocket fuel. You can take it home." Hoo -hoo -hoo. And then like sell it for five thousand dollars a gallon. Yeah, RP one. It's just kerosene. They they don't need to know that. It needs to just say official space program RP one. You know, official space gas. It needs to be all mm -hmm. you know branded nice. Good. Go put it in your your pickup truck. Yeah, go put it. What in is your it called? Blowing coal or whatever. Blowing Rolling coal. coal. It, Same you, thing. I I'm imagine you trying to out. blend in with guys like, "Hey, <laughs> hello, how do you do, fellow Southerners? Would you like to, would blow, like to blow some, some coal? coal? I would like to blow some coal. I too <laughs> enjoy the looks at hand. NASCAR. <laughs> True. Uh, roll some RP one. Yeah, we, he, he, let's blow some coal, gentlemen's. I too am one of you. Yeah, see, yeah, Bubba's big blast truck. says, "I'll blow some coal with you." See, I have a lifted cyber truck. Everything. I laughed my ass off at the cyber truck where he's like, "It's it's bulletproof," and the guy comes out with like <laughs> a metal ball, which, as it turns out, far less impact than a nine millimeter a metal ball. You know, yeah. 
far far that, that's why criminals use like handguns and not you know like giant metal balls <laughs> because that would suck it's like being stoned to death but with modern technology of giant perfectly sphere metal balls so like a guy comes up to you and he's like give me your fucking car and you're like no and then he like takes out a metal ball but you reach in your glove box and you've got a cube <laughs> And you're just like hitting them together, and there's sparks flying, and you're like, ah! Another... You flash your holstered cube on your belt. <laughs> you have it. You you open carry like metallic things that you've you've had CNC machined. You're like, yeah, I'm a triangle man. That was successful. Self defense cube. Yeah. How much science did we get on that one? Uh, probably more than seven. I hope so. Let's see. We got 55. We have 55 Ooh. science now, which means we can actually get advanced rocketry. Or we Ooh, can... those like little hydrazine rockets are actually, perfect for adding spin. Actually, we need space tape. That's what we oh, need. That's a good point. Yeah, we, we need that space tape like bad. Like yeah, bad. Yeah, it allows us to spin faster, I think. It will. It will allow us to... S oh, my God. We are geniuses. All right, so what if, yeah, see, space tape, right? We get out of the space tape. Yeah, so tape. those are wobbling a little bit. I yeah, would, I well, they so won't it. anymore because of space well, remember, tape. Well, yeah, remember, it's not symmetrical because we did that. I know, The I fucky know. wucky in there. Yeah, well, there it's, not a, it's not a fucky wucky. You, you look, I, I'm going to help you rebuild. It's rebrand. perfectly engineered. No, it's, it's, it's one margin of error engineering. Right, we we're gonna create that as one. A, the factor of safety is one or point five. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna say it's margin of error engineering and it's artisanal rocket development. There you go. Artisanal, you know, like our our rockets are very they're handcrafted and made by American Rocket Fitters Union. The, I have to imagine that North Korean spy van out there watching this is like trying to reverse engineer what the fuck it just saw go up into space. Oh yeah, that's not gonna happen because they're they're gonna see that and they're gonna be like, "What the fuck?" And we'll be like, "Yeah, yeah." Wait yeah. till you see what rolls out next. Yeah, take that, you little shit. And they're like, "That's All right, not." So nice. we need we need the spin spin things on there i don't think we honestly need the spin ones this is this it's is just to kick start it you know what you're you can inject them what right you're away. telling me is in your contract you wrote that you would provide one spin stabilized upgrade per rocket per Look, contract if i'm getting paid to contribute my expertise i'm gonna tell you that spinning things are more stable and if you don't do it, I'm going to throw a shit fit to all of my bosses and executives for months and years, and I won't sign off on your rocket design, and I'll make you drag it through the mud, spending millions of dollars until I get what I want. Why are you such a monster? I learn from the best. That's fair. All right, so, look, here's, here's my idea. I forgot, I actually forgot that stupid rotate thing because it's so stupid. It's like shift R. It is, but it's like, ah. Uh, symmetry radial. It's not shift R. Is it shit? Uh, there it is. Is that going into the rocket or to the side of the rocket? Don't, don't worry about it. It's, it's going just fine. Oh. What, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah let's just do it. Why yeah, not? you know You'll what? just eject it in case it gets a little crazy, huh? Yeah, I mean, I... There, oh, um, almost, oh. just no vertical lift. There, yeah, okay. So this is yes. This this it's gonna whole... inject poorly, but whatever. Yeah, it's it's fine. Don't don't worry about it. It's it's. You have the there. Yeah, there you go. Fuck. There. Yeah, so, out where those are. Yeah, there. Yeah, little 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 there. All right, so cool. Yeah, the boom and onion. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Boom and onion. We are going to space, boys. We're we going. Remember what our apogee was last time? Was it? It was up. Seventy. It was up. Something? It was up. It was up. What else needs it's to a be good deal up? It was a yeah. great amount of that. Looks sketchy as fuck. All right, here we go. Ooh. That's a bit Hold much. Hold on, space tape. Hold on, space tape. Hold on, ready space tape. Check the spinners. 
Ejecting spinners. Holy shit, where did they go? Holy crap. Well, look at look at the dynamics of all the <laughs> mock diamonds and everything. That's just all mock diamonds, dude. Imagine the uh, sonic boom from this thing. <laughs> I think it would just keep happening. Because <laughs> it's like tearing through the air at around the speed of sound and slowing down and speeding up because it's wobbling and shit. Right. It's stage. Stand by, stand by for staging. Go. Stage. Oh, go. oh, oh, go, oh, go. oh, 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 there we go. No, we don't. We had a problem. Man, that was such a good launch, too. This is amazing. Stand by for separation. All right. <laughs> You're alive. You're alive. Holy shit. This is amazing. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. Eh. Oof. All right. So we need we need to we need to design a better rocket. I think. Oh, here's here's a here's a uh, a fifty million dollar tip I'll give you. Move the staging pieces on five into four. On five. Yep. Move In them all into four. All right. With those engines. Yeah, I, I know what you're suggesting, and I've done this before, but I've also had it, like, freak out, but I, I know what you're saying, so it's all at it's once. It's going to be better than what just happened. All right, so the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the thrust limiter on these down to, like, mm, 15. Is that the spinny ones? Or? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so, yep. yeah, uh, yeah. Right. It's, it's the problem you run into in rifles is you run into this thing called spin stabilization as it goes down the bore, and then you end up That's with... That's true. Yeah, so... The problem is you can overstabilize stuff, so it it ends up being overspun, and then it doesn't react like it should. So it'll like come apart. You think apart. that's the root cause of the problem here? No, Sorry, I think this is overspinning. I think what's happening here is I have essentially made something with the structural composition of like a wrought iron bed frame, uh -huh. <laughs> and uh, I am now accelerating it to speeds that w it was never designed to experience. So this is all my fault, but you've helped. Oh yeah, I, I signed off on this. You just signed off on it because you've like reached that level of tenure in the company where you're like, yeah, that sounds fun. Here's my signature, it's worthless. It'll make people feel safe. I think I'd love to watch these go off, you know? Yeah. You could probably see this from, you know, the entire continent. Ooh. See, not very stable. It's wobbling. The first time it was. I think it's time to eject those side pieces. <coughs> uh, yeah. Fire the stage. Firing. All right, they're gone. All right, fire. Firing. Yeah. Uh, yep. Oh. We, we lost You one. lost one this time. Yeah. Fire. Why does it do that every time? You're like, it's fire. Boom. All right, all right. The stage is catastrophic disassemble. Well, it's probably because the stage was not designed to take it at, like, 8 Gs. You know what I mean? Because, like, look, oh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not an astro blah, 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 but I play a lot of War Thunder, and I know that, like, wind has a certain amount of uh, surface area uh, that it can impact, right? So if you're flying real fast in a jet, the wings start to clap <laughs> because the air is oh, hitting yeah. it. And it's like, They're I want... They're designed to do that, you know? Yeah, and so when the plane resembles a seagull, you should probably not do that anymore. So what if, instead of spin, what if I put some fins on it to do the same oh, thing? Oh, no. No. No? Why... We decided we weren't going to do any sort of, like, we're punching through the air, aren't we? That's, you know what? You're fucking right. You're fucking right. Hold on. Why Why should I limit myself? I think engines can act just fine as fins. That's true. If you put enough of them out, they kind of create a giant net fin together, too. Hmm. Like if you had a fin of just rockets. You know, that's true. All right, shift A. No, no, no. Oh, God. What have I done? No. 
Oh, God. Yeah. Make it go away. All right, so, what? No, it's not that one. It's not that one. It's one of these. Yes. Yes. All right, there. That's what I want. All right. No, no separation. No separation. We're punching our way to the space of up, and we have no time for separation it's anxiety. Everything. We have no time to be afraid of the up. We are going to use science by modifying our up go, the tween up goes, to be more sharper. I kind of feel like what we should build instead of a rocket is a giant tube that extends out to space. And you just pump that sucker down so it's like a vacuum. And that where you don't have to worry about going through the atmosphere. I, I want to know what the equivalent of the Pulitzer Prize is for smart things. Well, isn't that what Elon Musk is doing, but it's like below ground? And he's putting cars through it? Like yeah. a bank tube? Yeah, I, I wondered about that tube thing. Um, now, I'm not a scientist, really. I, I just play one. But hear, hear me out. Um, and this is just uh, this is just me thinking aloud. But if you have a giant tube that's a vacuum and something's going around in the giant tube, right? That's the inside. vacuum. Yeah, in, inside. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um, question. And this is this is just me. Um, by the way, I'm gonna let these rockets just kind of help carry me up for a second while I have my thing. You're losing velocity, unfortunately. It'll be alright. It'll be alright. I'm just gonna let them carousel right. for a second so then I can do this. See? There you go. That's what I needed. I needed to build up enough speed to get them to pull away when I hit the button. Let's see if you catastrophically separate again. Alright, let's see. Stand by for staging. Nope. Ooh, that was clean. Oh, wow, that was clean. It's like a Pokeball. Yeah, that is really nice. So here's here's the uh, here's the thing is, let's see, warp there. Yeah. Yeah. So I was wondering, in in a space program, you know, when they sent those guys up, do you, do you think that they just gave them a bunch of... Because they're all so calm. Do you think that they, in the early days, when they actually sent them out with actual hot dogs and stuff, not just like powdered liverwurst or whatever, do you think that they drugged those guys just to make them a little, you know... I would want some Tylenol or something before getting in there. I, I'm not talking Tylenol. I, I mean like... I know. You know, like Haloperidol or whatever. Just Just enough to make you like... When the nice German voice on the radio is like, okay, you're not coming home. You're like, cool. Yeah. You know, just, just, I, 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 I get the idea that when you turn on your space suit and, and you, you get in there, uh, they, they're like, what, how much THC do you want? I, I think that they really make sure those spacemen are very calm. Or they're just really highly trained professionals that, that, that know what they're doing. Okay, so we've yeah, managed... Yeah, it's one or the other. Yeah, it's either weed or yeah, it's, practice. It's, it's weed or, like, incredible practice. And so, training, and, yeah. Years of dedication are just stoned. I'm, I'm just saying, it's either or. So we've managed to go further out into space uh, than ever before, which is still not very high, but it is high-ish. And we can still see home. And we're probably still being tracked by them space satellites. All right, looks like there's... Well, that's right. You have to have a dish or something, right, to transmit it back. Yeah, so I'm going to need to re-enter and then land in the water and then scoop you gotta up... You got to do a science reading while you're on fire. Oh, yeah, that's right. We need to get that fire science, right? Because how else are we going to know that fire's fucking hot? That's how you unlock the next tier of science. Yeah, fire. Fire is science. Uh, see, there's fire. There's science nice. in the fire. Look at this. Look at this. Look at all the science in the fire, guys. Guys, it's where the magic is. Oh my God, we gotta scoop all this fire up and bring it home. They won't believe it. The space is on fire at all times. They won't believe it. We have to bring this fire home. Ah, oh, damn. All right. So, if you bring the fire home, like, how are we gonna store it in the lab? I guess mason jars. 
Oh, that's fair. They, everybody uses those ball jars for everything, so that makes sense. Well, like, you Ball's know. one of the biggest aerospace companies out there for a reason. Yeah. Taps yeah. head. That is the same ball. Ball aerospace. I think you got all the science. You don't have to recycle it. No, You're no. Good. Look, I, I think I think we're good. I mean, we... <laughs> Yeah. Here's your next mission. Next mission, uh, right. I think we need to go see what the North Koreans are up to. That requires precision trajectory. I agree. I think we should land on their head. Uh, and uh, we, we, should, we should build something that hovers over there and finds out what that thing is so that we can go over there and beat the shit out of it. I think if we add more mass to the Bloom and Onion, it won't have enough thrust to lift off. And it will hover, like neutrally buoyant, like a submarine, but in the air. Oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And you, sh you should be able to steer it over there. I think. I think. I think you're probably right. We did get. We did get some science uh, for that. There, there is that survivability thing, but I mean, mm. it's not really for yeah. us. All right, we're surviving just fine. We're surviving. We've recovered like every single one of them. We've recovered most of the aircraft that we have put into the air. So what we need is something to crawl over to where they are and the bloom and onions okay uh but what i'm thinking we need to do is i i have an idea i'm gonna build a flying scaffold to go over there and find out what the fuck those guys want right yeah 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 we're gonna because it's like a scaffold disguised as like a skyscraper or something yeah or? yeah 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 see they won't think this is a rocket because it doesn't look like one you know? just a slowly moving skyscraper yeah it's it's very a very loud skyscraper but very very slowly moving right so you just do a bunch of these so you get this spider effect right and then you put these on the end right and and then you uh probably want something you can throttle yeah that's that's the idea. I'm I'm gonna put some of these on, and then I'm gonna have the swivel booster. Ooh, and then you oh, know we unlocked vector technology. Yeah, we we unlocked how to make it do the the hip gyrations that that everyone likes so much. We figured out how to make like the Paula Abdul of rockets. We have to rename this and something, right? Oh yeah, because this this thing is is very 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 technologically advanced. This is an advanced prototype uh, for interstellar travel. Uh, in fact, this thing has its own TV show. It has its own television program. It's it's called. What channel is it on? Uh, it's it's on Sci-Fi at eight. Um, oh. and, and the show is, uh, the name of the program and the program, it, it, it's called the, uh, um, umlaut program and it's, yeah. it's, yeah, the show is very good and it's not made up. So we're gonna, we're gonna go into the launch pad with the, the umlaut and we're gonna, we're just gonna, you know, kind of slowly go take a look-see and see what someone's doing. Pancake yeah. is stable. Pancake very stable. I mean, we're we're with the program. We know what we're doing. I mean, we we are definitely with the program. Okay. Like, have you ever tried to stand up a hot dog in a, a frying pan? It just doesn't work out. But a pancake will stay there, and you know it's not going to go anywhere. Right, right, right. So here we go. Here we go. All right, all right. A little less. Oh. Oh. Ooh, ooh. That's a control system, the, the $50 million control system kicking in. All right, you're pitching over. All right. We're going to go. Oh, I like that. The name is the IHOP. Oh, God. Very clever. Clever girl. It is a pretty neat looking design, though. Thank you. I do like it. Uh oh. Except, uh, except now I don't like it. <laughs> you can have enough fuel to get over there. That remains to be seen, sir. The answer is maybe. Okay, here we go. I'll. 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 Uh oh. Uh, uh, uh. 
up. Okay, then. And then. Oh, I backflipped oh. it away. Look at I that. To say. Tell me that's not cool. The craft is visiting. You're not. Maybe we get close. Uh. Okay. No. So that didn't work. That that did not work. Um, I I fucked that up. The it turns out the parachute not opening in time. Uh, by trying to be cool and explosion. So, go me. We're gonna give it another try. And you gotta get that horizontal velocity going. Yeah. yeah a little little. Yeah. All right. No. Yeah. There you go. This Just is turn how it on when it's pointing the right way. You got it. No, this is how you do I it. I think the, par the parachute didn't open because you weren't going fast. That's right. See? That's how you do it. I think you opened that parachute too soon. Maybe. Oh. Awesome. See? Oh, something almost made it to him. Yeah, it's so just an obelisk out there. It's just an obelisk. It's obelisks and space programs go hand in hand, sir. Classic combination. Classic combination. Just ask Mr. Clark. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some science out of this field that is very important, and then we're gonna go on a field trip, aren't we? We're gonna. Uh, the field might be covered in hydrazine, but that's what we're learning. Yeah, we're learning that. We have to learn that. We can't. We can't just know that. All right, there we go, and then. Uh, here, here we are. All right, we're gonna we're gonna go over and check this out. Oh, look, your craft landed. Uh huh. Well, let's let's agree that parts certainly hit the ground. Parts of it. Yeah, I mean, not not the full thing, but we're just gonna we're just gonna go and just check it out. I mean, because what's the worst that could happen? All right, where's my fucking jetpack? Jetpack work on Kerbal? It should. Look, we're 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 gonna go explore. We're just gonna go explore. It's gonna be great. Oh yeah. Come on, jetpack. Not enough. Not enough boost. I think you're you'd be better off flying there. Kerbals weren't meant to walk anywhere. That's true. They're weak. They're very weak as a species. All right, well, let's recover our craft, recover our craft. And you know what? We might have better luck uh, doing something that maybe is an aircraft. What are those? Um, well, all right, you know how rockets go up, right? Yes, Okay. step one. Yeah, so so what if what if they went, like, sideways? You were already doing that, though. That's true. That's true. So what what I'm thinking is we we build something that can go sideways for extended periods of time, except I don't have any aircraft parts, so never mind. We're not going to do that because we are very sad as far as space programs go. But we I bet you, I, hang on, I bet you could make something where you have a horizontal rocket and then you attach a bunch of vertical rockets to carry it up into the air and then you detach it like a stage. I, I think I think they tried this. Didn't they have that idea where they were going to take like B fifty twos to like forty thousand feet and then launch satellites from them? And then they they were like, or we could just launch satellites. They had an idea. Yeah. They have I, an I idea. Think they they did that. Yeah. Well, I mean, they. I, I'm not sure if they still do it. It's effectively like what Richard Branson did. Yeah. Which. I, I have to agree. That's that's it's like when I I I can't hate on the guy because he's been to space, and he went from record store to astronaut. That's pretty good. Like that's a good run for anybody. Um, but I, when when he's like I'm an astronaut, I'm like barely with that much money, you should be an all the way astronaut. Like you shouldn't you shouldn't have that much money and be barely an astronaut. Because I hate to say this, but the guy who invented Ultima is more of an astronaut than he is. I think, I think that's fair. And yeah. also, you know, he could have, instead of, like, paying to build a rocket company to take him up there, he could have paid for astronaut training 
gone through the work of being an astronaut and then actually be a legitimate astronaut. Well, yeah, but I mean, he he's like Sir Richard Branson. When you get like Sir in your name, you can't you can't do those things. You can. You, you oh just... yeah. So what are we what are we designing here? Oh, Which that's a good question. Um, so what what I was thinking, and uh, is is one we're going to we're gonna have a playful array of these tubes, and on uh-huh. the outside of these tubes, we are going to place our fuel tanks because our final stage is gonna be uh, is gonna be gas. It's 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 gonna be the gas. The the final stage is gonna be the good old fashioned fuel, right? And and that's that's what we're doing. And and then from there, I think I'm just gonna make the rocket like we tried the very tall rockets, okay? But mm-hmm. what if instead we tried the wedding cake rocket idea? Oh. It's it's I a, like that idea. It's it's a new design. It's a new design. Seems stable. Yeah. yeah. So so one what I want to do is I'm going to take this and we're going to go chunk and there's that there and then I am going to make as you can see a second stage right? And this is this is going to be this is going to be the bango stage. This is going to be the one that gets us up there. Because I want I want rockets that aren't pussy rockets. I want like big old crazy redneck rockets. I, I want fire to shoot out and people to be like, holy shit, the world is ending. And we're like, no, don't worry. We're just putting up a porn satellite for you know, like Skinamax. Is Cinemax still in business? It might be. People do like their pornography. Yeah. I've I've heard. You're like, I've heard. We I don't know what that is. All right. All right, so is this the top of the wedding cake? Yeah, that's the top. That's that's okay. the top, right? So I think you need a central core too in there. No. I want it to be a surprise. No central core? No central core. That's extra okay. weight. I don't need that. Oh, I thought you were gonna like extend this down and then do like the next layer. No, this You're is You're doing like these half layers. How dare you? I'm just saying, it's it's a fine design. I'm sure it'll work. I I don't believe you when you say that you, 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 well, you, we're gonna do science right we're gonna we're gonna test oh i like that oh yeah well that's fair i mean how else will you know unless you fuck around and find out and that's that's like science you need to pack them in there i know you like your like little star patterns but there's so much wasted space in there all right that's fair and i mean that's that's fair that's very very fair just, yeah grab one of those extension arms and just Smack them in. Oh, oh, God. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Okay, it's not liking that. It's, it's Don't get there. Okay, okay. So, yeah, what I need to do is I need to put... Okay. Oh, God, that's going to take forever. Yeah, I know, I know. But it's it's how I have to do it because a lot of these are going to smash together if I don't. There. Oh, right. I think a lot of them are going to smash together regardless. All right, there we go. That's what I... Oh, fuck! All right, and then... Gently, oh, gently, 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 gently. Motherfucker. All right, and just a bunch of space tape. Yeah. All right, so that... That's, that... a, that's a handsome birthday cake. I don't know about a wedding cake. <sighs> Well, okay. What what It's handsome. It's handsome. But I mean if they don't find you handsome, they should at least find you handy. My mom found me handsome. Did she really? Yes. Okay, that's good. All right, I think that's a rocket. I th- Not I even think even a triple layer wedding cake? Mhm. Okay, fine. Look, I'm doing my best here. You're baking. Hopefully those are staged right. Yeah, yeah. We'll yeah. find out. Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's a lot of rockets. And it's all liquid, too. Yes. 
Liquid is have best. You, uh, cranked up the the fan on your computer don't worry about it all right okay so what's the name of this one uh this one is gonna be called um uh thunder blasto uh that's that's what it is it's it's gonna be great i i hope everyone's ready for the slideshow all right boys and girls This is going to be great. This is going to be great. If it blows up, let's get an upvote. Let's see if we can fuck the algorithm. So uh, YouTube will start suggesting this to people. Be like, this is how you build rockets with an actual air ast astronautical astro... Which, which one's the horology? Uh, astrology? Oh, uh, wow. Astrological? Yeah. Sure. An astro what would an astrological engineer do? Like make crystals and smoke weed? Whoa! Ooh. All right, we got some That's, speed. I think, I think you pushed Kerbin away. You didn't actually lift off of it. Holy shit! Wow. Very stable. Very stable. You're at full thrust too, aren't you? I am. It'd be pretty impressive if you could actually like asparagus all this. You'd be able to go anywhere in uh, the Kerbal system. Holy crap. This thing. This thing. Oh. Everything is stable but the frame rate. It's pretty stable. It's, it's like a solid 10. I don't know how many so Gs we're pulling. You could probably throttle down a little bit. Since you're getting out of the atmosphere. You still want to accelerate. You're not accelerating. All right, one second. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, now you're doing a gravity turn, probably unwillingly. Yeah, that is not an intentional gravity turn. All right, hold on, killing the engines. Oh. Killing the engines, killing the engines, kill the engines. You're letting them cool down. Yeah, I'm letting them cool down because I have an idea. I'm just going to wait till I'm up in space at the top of my spin, which I'm going to be very shortly. Uh, and then it's I dropping fast. I know. I know. And then I'm going to level out. It'll it'll be OK. It's it's going to be just I don't fine. Think you made it out of space. Uh, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. Mm. We're, we're getting there. You're going to have to fire it in bursts. I know. I know. Hold on. Hold on, we got this. Oh no! This is amazing! Okay, we're going down now. This is how the dinosaurs died. I think so. Holy shit. I like this the looks... like, little smoke trail pattern following you. This is amazing. Holy crap, look how fast we're going. Oh, look at that. Look at that. The hottest known substance on Earth. This is amazing. And then you're going to poop out of fuel. Dude, it's going to be a mock hypercube. Oh, it's collapsing on itself. Wow, it looks like a pulsar. It's doing that. It basically just staged for you. That's what happened. You're just like, fuck that stage. Yeah. Unfortunately, we're going way too fast to deploy a parachute. Oh, no, no, we're not. Maybe. Yeah, 200 meters of sand, dead. All right. Oof. That was a fun stream tonight. Um, that was great. Yeah. Thanks for uh, thanks for joining. Uh, thanks for joining and helping walk me through some of the finer points of Astra. 
I hope you learned thing. something tonight. I did and, not. Uh, your I, audience as well. I learned nothing. Uh, I have I have more or less blocked it out of my mind. But thanks everyone for tuning in. And if you guys want to leave an upvote and uh, whatever to help me fuck YouTube, I'd appreciate it. And uh, I think the next thing on the channel is actually I will release that right now because everyone has been so nice and happy and fun. So let me get into the back into YouTube, da, 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 and I will release it for you guys to enjoy. How would you guys like to see, not Goob Coin, that's already out. Oh, God, I have to get into the back end here. Uh, yes, uh, here we are. Enjoy some Duncan Fisher playing Shadowrun. We finally clipped that out for you guys. So do enjoy, because I just released it for you. And uh, for those of you guys on the Patreon, uh, please remember that there is going to be a... Um, there is going to be a vote or series of votes on the Max and stuff we're covering next, and that's ongoing, so keep your eyes peeled. Later, folks. And thank you again, Mame. Yep, see ya.